Railways Bill uh, demonstrates the government's commitment to providing a better railway service for the passenger and getting better value for money for the taxpayer. The best way to do this is to involve the enterprise, skills and resources of the private sector. This is a UK commuter nightmare. Overcrowded trains, platforms and widespread cancellations cause disruptions nationwide. The pandemic has led to a spike in commuters opting to drive to work instead of using public transport. HS2 is the high-speed train line that links our industrial cities of the north with the south, ensuring prosperity is shared across the country. High Speed 2 or HS2 is a planned high-speed railway line connecting London with various parts of Northern England. The project was announced in 2009 under Gordon Brown and originally consisted of a Y-shaped route from London to Birmingham with branches to Leeds and Manchester. It has undergone a series of major changes over the course of construction. Various sections have been cancelled and budgets have risen dramatically beyond the initial expectations. In 2013, the project was estimated to cost £37.5 billion in 2009 prices. This rose to £55.7 billion in 2015. But some reports suggest costs have now surpassed £100 billion, having been driven up by recent inflation rises. Once complete, HS2 should help to free up space on the existing network for more local services and freight which will take lorries off the roads. HS2 Limited, the publicly owned company behind the project, says that upgrading the existing network would not deliver enough new capacity or cut journey times like HS2. It also says the project should generate around £92 billion in benefits for the UK economy. But the original vision has slowly been pared back over time. The route to Leeds was cancelled in November 2021, with the branch then expected to end at East Midlands Parkway Railway Station, south of Nottingham. In June 2022, the link to the West Coast Main Line at Goldbourne was cancelled. And then, in October 2023, during the Conservative Party conference in Manchester, the Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, announced the abandonment of Phase 2 to Manchester. I am cancelling the rest of the HS2 project. And in its place, we will reinvest every single penny. This leaves only the route between Old Oak Common, London, and Birmingham Curzon Street as funded elements of the project. Following the cancellation, Rishi Sunak has proposed to fund a raft of local transport projects using the money saved. This includes £19.8 billion to connect major cities in the north, including a new station in Bradford, a new tram for Leeds, new major roads, and reopened train lines, and an additional £12 billion for better connectivity between Manchester and Liverpool. The Midlands will receive £9.6 billion for a new rail hub that will connect 50 stations, along with major road upgrades and reopened train lines with new stations. The rest of the country will receive £6.5 billion, which will be spent on keeping local bus fares under £2 until the end of December 2024. Major rail improvements across the southwest and billions to fix potholes on the UK's crumbling roads. The HS2 project has changed considerably since its inception and is now massively beyond its initial budget while not delivering on the original dream. With HS2 Phase 1 not expected to be completed before 2029 at the earliest, the project could still face many more logistical and political roadblocks.